What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Stephen J. I'm coming to you live. Um, I guess from in my car, as you can see. But I, I, I just want to talk about SmackDown last night. Everybody was waiting for Cody Rhodes to make his announcement. Is it going to be Seth Rollins or is it going to be Roman Reigns? And honestly, Seth Rollins made a, a compelling argument. Fight me. But on the flip side, as a fan, I'm like... We've seen you guys do it two times already, and I don't want to see it again uh, right now. I want to see something new. And even though we all saw Cody uh, fight Roman last year at WrestleMania, you still wanted him to get that shot. I don't know. There's something about Cody that's different from LA Knight. There's something about Cody that's different from Seth. There's something about Cody that's different from Sami Zayn. All these guys who are over. Something different about Cody and CM Punk. It's just like, he's kind of like the guy, I think, that, you know, he was um, the uh, the next big thing. He was the, uh, I don't know what they used to call it, Drew McIntyre when he first came, the next thing or whatever, the heir apparent or whatever, he was that guy. And, you know, the WWE did him dirty with the Stardust thing, I think was, and like, I think everybody in WWE Universe just felt bad for Cody because it was like, Stardust, this is stupid. And him leaving and him finding success on the independent scene and then him going, starting AEW <clears throat> and him being successful in that and him coming back. And, like, uh, if you watch the documentary, the first documentary that Cody talked about, and he talked about his dad and not winning the title, not in WWE, but against Ric Flair, but then that story being dragged out and getting that moment where Dusty finally did it and you see all the guys in the back are celebrating him, all that, you were thinking that is the way that we're going to go. So, fast forward, Cody wins, or wins the Rumble exciting because it hasn't been done since stone cold um seth makes the compelling argument fight me cody comes out yesterday and this is where it gets weird he comes out and he he's like bruno Sammartino had that title uh, uh my dad had that title and you know i'm gonna get that title whatever but then it's just like but not today and it's just like the air got sucked out of the room when he said that because he's putting a compelling argument of why he should not face Seth Rollins and why he should face Roman Reigns. And I'm just like, <sighs> and then the rock comes out and the rock comes out with the pop and the whole scene where Cody just walks out of the ring. He embraces the rock. Cody walks out of the ring, walks down the aisle turns around or whatever they give the nod or whatever he turns i mean it's just <laughs> if you ever watch friday when red comes up to debo he was like D debo um you know my dad's tripping you know he was like what he was like about uh i mean is he about his bike and debo what bike and he's like the beach cruiser i let you you know it's just he's like oh and he was like yeah it's just kind of like it's our bike and whatever and uh, <laughs> and Debo knocked him out. But then there's another uh, uh, scene where Red is with uh, uh, Cube and uh, Smokey, and Debo comes and he snatches Smokey. Uh, he snatches Red's chain, and then uh, Red goes, "Why are you tripping, Debo?" And Debo's like, "Shut up!" And Red goes, "I kind of felt like that last night with Cody. That like the Rock came in, snatched his chain, and was like." And Cody's like, what's your problem? And he was like, shut up. And Cody was like, and just the way <clears throat> he walked out of the ring was just so sublime. The way he walked out of the ring was just, he. it to me seemed like he was so dejected. The way he walked out the ring, it was just like, is this it? Is this the story that I've waited over a year to see? And it's not going to happen. And I mean, yeah, it's hard to boo The Rock because you don't see him. And just a side note real quick. I know everybody, I'm an LA Knight fan. I really do like him. But 
please don't tell me this guy is so popular when you hear matter of fact when you hear the rock when he came in chicago when he came i mean colorado when he came a couple weeks ago and did that to uh gender and then he came yesterday his pops versus la Knight's pops oh my god matter of fact cody's pop uh versus la Knight's pop i mean get out of here there's no comparison but i love the rock i love the rock and I'm just like, when he said that thing about maybe he wants to sit at the head of the table, I said, no, no, this is Cody's moment. You can't take Cody's moment. This is reminds me of uh, Hogan and The Rock and them looking both side to side and the crowd turned on The Rock because they're like, they, I, I want Hogan. And I'm feeling the same way, like I want Cody and I don't know how they're gonna do this. But as a fan, I've invested so much emotion because I want to see Cody do it. And to reenact him, Dusty doing it, and him going to the top of the rope, holding up that belt, and everybody coming out congratulating him or whatever, or something like that. I mean, Cody cries every week, first of all. He cries every week. Man has good, peckable taste when it comes to suits, but he cries every week thinking about his dad. That tells you how much he loves his dad. And that's all good. I ain't hating on him for that. But I wanted Cody, Cody to face Roman Reigns one more time and win that title because honestly, the Bloodline story is stale. It was stale. It started to go stale when Sami Zayn left. Sami Zayn was the testosterone, that injection that the Bloodline story would need it because, I mean, it's Roman Reigns. They, uh, he fights somebody, someone from the bloodline interrupts. That story started becoming NWO like every week, throwing Rey Mysterio into a, a brick wall. That's what it basically started to become. But Sami Zayn started injecting testosterone and life into that story lane. And you know, Sami coming down, whatever. People started loving Sami. And even when Sami turned and left the bloodline, you still had a little bit of okay interest because of uh jimmy i mean jay and when jay left the bloodline civil war then now it's just like okay like what do we got what do we got then roman and la night and it just to me it didn't go over as well as the other matches did because again <clears throat> the same thing happened and of course roman doesn't come out every friday on smackdown he doesn't defend it every pay-per-view and so it was just like, I don't know. There's just, I mean, it's time for him to lose it. It's really time. Because, I mean, I get it. If Roman Reigns wants to have that uh, uh, cachet, or I beat Cena, I beat Edge, I beat Brock Lesnar, and I stacked him up, I smashed him or whatever, and have that as his repertoire, as, like, as crossing out dot and T's and every, I get that. But, I mean, that could have been, like, at, uh, 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 man, what's the next pay-per-view? I can't think of it. Elimination Chamber. That could have been Elimination Chamber. I would have, uh, done that. But, I mean, I just feel like I've invested so much emotion into Cody. And, I mean, honestly, when Cody hit... Uh, crossroads on Reigns last WrestleMania, we all thought, all right, he's going to do it. He's going to do it. And he didn't do it. It's like, dang. <clears throat> and I'm like, how are they going to do this? And they've kept Cody relevant with his many feuds with Brock, which went on for a while. And then with uh, uh, Dominic and then with uh, Shinsuke, they've kept that going. But I don't know. Seth Rollins, the feeling that it's the title, but it's not the title. I mean, and honestly, you think about it, Roman beat, I don't even know who the last champion was before Seth Rollins, because uh, I don't remember who it was. Honestly, I can't remember. It's been that long. But Roman has the Raw title and the SmackDown title. So, I mean, technically, you know... Seth is coming in like when Ric Flair came into the WWE as the real world's heavyweight champion. So, I, I mean, I've invested so much time and I love wrestling since the days all the way back to Bob Backlund. But I, I, I get the feeling that Cody is doing what's best for business. I 
that's that's the feeling that I'm getting that he's doing what's best for business and I get it but Cody and Roman will still work I honestly think Gunther is in a position to challenge Seth and everything that he did and at Wrestlemania and not only that and just strip Gunther of the title and have a tournament for the Intercontinental title and go from there and I think if you're going to do that I would actually put the title on Dominic because the dude has been doing his thing I, I mean I hate the way he gets beat up every week just like with no regard whatsoever but um it's just i don't know give the title to dominic but i think gunther versus seth rollins at wrestlemania works it just it, it does work i mean i know they probably was thinking about cm punk and i for my personally i don't think cm wwe did not need cm punk he's a a, a moment but that moment is going to pass and he got hurt already so I this that's the thing with me with him. So um I'm just I'm just a little deflated. I'm just a little deflated because I wanted Cody to finally do it and dang, I love the rock. But Rock, I don't wanna see you right now. I don't wanna see you right now, Rock. And I think there's millions and millions of Rock's fans that feel the same way. They rock, we love you, but we like Cody and you can't take this moment away from him right now. So um, uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if you feel the same way, if you feel different, so let me know what you think is gonna happen. So peace out.